Hello, it's Pastor Beam TV again coming to you to let you know that you can wait. You can wait. The Bible says, They that wait upon the Lord, He renew their strength. He will renew you. The time of waiting, it's a time where things are taking place. You may not see it physically, but things are taking place. Some things are going on. It's not a period where you are just there. It's a period where some things are working together for your good. Things you may not be able to see physically. The Bible says, They that wait upon the Lord, He renews their strength. Isaiah 40 and 31. He renews, He refreshes. The Bible lets us know that those who trust in the Lord will wait upon Him. If you say you love the Lord, and you trust the Lord, you can hold on, wait, for in his time, the Bible says, he makes all things beautiful. Isaiah 46 and verse 4 tells us that from the beginning of the world, men have not heard nor perceived it by the hair, nor I seen any God beside you, who acts for the one who waits on him. He acts for the one who waits on him. The time of God is the best we might be in a hurry we may be anxious we may be wondering but don't wander too far rest on god god is ever so faithful he said i will never leave you i will never forsake you he is god the same yesterday today and forever he's never too late with god at the right time he will show up and you will thank him for it you see you don't want to eat something that is half cooked because you are so hungry otherwise you won't enjoy it but i ask you my sister i ask you my brother to hold on you can do it i do some jogging and i know that when i look at the distance i have to cover i begin to like say okay I will keep moving, I will keep moving, I will keep moving until I'm almost getting to the target. I'm confident that, how did I do it? I'm almost there. I challenge myself, I'm almost there. And at the end of the day, I look at what I've covered and I'm impressed with myself. Your pressing and pressing is not a waste of time. You will look back and say, how did I do it? I took one day at a time. I keep holding on to God. The author and the finisher. The author, the one who began a good work in you. Who is faithful to complete it. He will not abandon you. So please rest on him. You may not know how, you may not know when. But he will do it again. If he did it for A, he can do for B. God is not in the business of lying. The Bible says it's not man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he will repent on what he has said. If he has said it, he will say he has said it, and he will do it. The Bible says, Do it, tarry, wait for it. It's for an appointed time. In his time, he makes all things beautiful. When it comes, you will be able to say, I'm glad I waited. It has come at the right time. You just don't want his permissive will. You want his perfect will. Because if it's perfect, everything has been wind together to give you a holistic package. And you don't want a missing link. So it's got to wait for the right time and the right moment. The time ordained of God. But the grace to wait. Ask God. The Bible says in Hebrew 4, 16, said, We should come to the throne of mercy. And ask for grace in time of need. Ask for grace to keep keeping on. Hold on. Christ is with you. He said, I am with you. I would never leave you. I will never forsake you. And he also says, he says, I will uphold you with my right hand of righteousness. You are almost there. Hold on, my sister. The end of the matter is sweet. There is light at the end of the tunnel. Go and enjoy it. Don't stop halfway. Christ has a package and we will wait. We will wait because he has said, I am
and with you always, even till the end of age. God bless you. Thank you for watching. Bye.